Hey, what's up, homies? It's your boy Jake here, back with some Hidden Face content. What an amazing set. How long has it been? A week or two? That's way too long. And honestly, I just love this set so much. I thought Cosmic Eclipse would, um, you know, reduce my uh, my need for Hidden Fates even a little bit, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I honestly could open up a Hidden Fates tin every day for the rest of my life and I would still love it. Honestly, I just need this fix in my life. There's the Gyarados promo card that you get inside of the Gyarados Hidden Fates tin. Been opening up a couple of Charizard one, wanted to mix it up. Honestly, I have so many of these tins lying around, guys. So many Hidden Fates tin, and I still have not found a solution for them. It's starting to look like a hoarder situation. It's really bad. My only solution right now is to recycle them, or I don't know, like sell 50 empty Hidden Fates tin boxes on eBay or something. One, two, three to the front, let's toss the energy. Let's see what we have. Oh, I think I saw a little peek of something really good in the back, so now I'm excited. We got Graveler, Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Grit, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Charmander, oh my goodness. We get a shiny vault and something cool in the background. Oh, there we go. Charmander shiny vault. Surprisingly, the shining uh, Pokemons do hold their value. The shining Pokemons do. And the shiny vault set, alternative art one, holds so much value. I think, I think like the next card could pay for the box for the whole entire tin. Come on, let's see what we get. It's a full art Jesse and James. I can already tell based on the borders. You guys don't believe me? Three, two, one. Full Art, Jesse, and James. Do I know my cards or what? Hidden Face is just so good. Oh my God, what an amazing set. Like honestly, like these three cards almost pay for the tins themselves. Like, does it even matter what's in the next three packs if, if that was our first pull? Oh my goodness, what an amazing set. This is so much better than the Elite Trainer boxes and every single pack is good. Like you're never gonna see disappointment in the packs. Every pack is just absolutely amazing. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy and see what we have here. We got Misty's Determination, Jinx, Pokemon Center Lady, Clefairy, Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Charmander. Oh, the regular reverse Charmander. All right, all right, and in the back, we got Genghis Khan as the rare. So how did I get these Hidden Fates tins? Well, they restocked the shelves. There are now more Hidden Fates tins in store. So if you guys go to your local Walmart or Target, you might just happen to catch a couple of these on the shelves. One, two, three to the front. I've actually seen these on the shelves for about a week or two now. So people aren't as excited for these as they used to be. So it's much easier to collect them now. Honestly, if you like when Hidden Face first came out, if you did not go to the store on the day of release, they're gone. Like they're off the shelves by midnight. They're all out. Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck as our holographic reverse, and in the back, Brock's training as our holographic rare. So I still have not gotten a Shining Charizard and that's definitely the one that I'm looking for. I think that's the card that everyone wants, but I'll be honest, I've opened like 200 or, or 300 packs of Hidden Fates. It's about time, don't you guys think? I know people, I do know people that have gone a Shining Charizard in like the first two or three tins. Like they just open up a couple packs and boom, there it is. Uh, I'm not jealous. Definitely not. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Menopod as our holographic reverse, and a little peek on the back, Golem as our rare. I actually don't see a lot of Golem, so is this a new card that I have not seen in Hidden Fates? Is that even possible? Well, on to the very next tin. No disappointment so far. We got ourselves a shiny Pokemon. The promo card is really cool as well. The promo card is always worth a couple of bucks. So that's definitely pretty cool that you definitely know for sure you're going to get something in here. There's the code card if someone wants the Gyarados tin. And let's move on to our packs. 
It's a good thing that they're still printing Hidden Faith because I don't think there's ever going to be enough of these packs. I think that the demand is always going to be high for these. Like, I can see myself literally opening up a tin every day for the rest of my life, guys. That's how much I love this set. One, two, three to the front. Toss our energy. Can I afford it? I actually can, so I might just do that. Jinx, Magmar, Brock's Grit. It's going to be a really painful, but I just love this set so much. It's so good. Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Misty Cerulean City, Jim as our holographic river, and a little peek on the back, we got Bill's Analysis as our rare. Surprisingly, Bill is no longer the most expensive holographic uh, or uh, rare, and that actually goes to the regular Jesse and James now, I think. And that's probably because even though Bill is a better card than the holographic rare Jesse and James, Bill is just um, a bit more available there's not enough holographic rares but there's plenty of bills even though he's a better card one two threes to the front it's just a little example of supply and demand for you all uh and let's see what we have here chancy brock's peter city gym giovanni's exile geodude pikachu clefairy cubone jigglypuff misty's determination and in the back got a yellow border so nothing too crazy and it is, hey, that's actually really cool. The Porygon Holographic Rare. We will take that any day. Honestly, Hidden Faith is such a breath of fresh air after that disastrous uh, Elite Trainer Box from the last video. If you guys haven't seen that, boy, I got absolutely wrecked. What, was, what were those packs? Those are not good Cosmic Eclipse packs, but that's all right because we have some Hidden Fates. Honestly, Hidden Fates might be my palette cleanser from now on. Whenever I'm feeling down, I might just, you know, crack open a tin, open up some packs, and I'll instantly feel a lot better. This, this set is just so good. I can't get over how amazing it is. Oh boy, I see something good in the back. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, all right, cut it out. Enough excitement, enough teasing. Let's see what it is. It is Starmie GX. I already have one, but Starmie GX, surprisingly, one of the best GX you can pull. So I'll take another any day of the week. There's just not a bad tin. I always pull something good in these tins. Ah, it's so amazing. Look at that. Full art GX and shiny cards in, uh, what is that, eight packs? That's the same as the Elite Trainer Box, but we just get so many better pulls. It's all, it's all in the pulls, guys. Magmar, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Charmeleon, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Eevee as our holographic reverse, and let's see what our final card is. It is Golem as our rare. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love that this channel has been getting. We are a brand new channel, so it's really amazing to me that anyone watches this content at all, but I really appreciate it. I just love our community so much. If you enjoy the content, then please consider subscribing because it really does help me out. I'm just gonna sleeve up all the amazing cards that we got from Hidden Fates today. Still a lot of cards missing from my collection, so we're going to be opening up these for quite a while. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.